Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Tara and today we're going to be making some beef stew with my Instant Pot. That's right, another Instant Pot experiment coming your way today. And it's gonna be yummy. I love beef stew. My mom used to make it all the time. I feel like I'm yelling. Am I yelling? make beef stew it was like one of her staple recipes especially in the winter time and so I like to make it sometimes so I'm using her recipe but I'm also pulling my instant pot version of it from a Pinterest find that I found uh, budgetbites.com normally I would just cook this on the stovetop in a big pot and that would take probably an hour just because there's potatoes in it with an instant pot it's a 35 minute timer but it does have to pressurize on each end so yeah hey what are you doing what are you doing? You messing with my tripod? Yeah. There, use that instead. Let's do this. All right, so I'm ready to start using my Instant Pot. And actually, this is the first time I'm gonna be using my the saute setting because you can saute your like soup vegetables before you actually make the soup, so. Okay, so I'm gonna look at my Instant Pot and find the saute button. It's somewhere, there it is. Boop. So I'm gonna put this meat in a bowl and season it lightly and then put flour on it. brown the meat like all the way I don't think because I'm just trying to get this going a little bit faster but I did give it a pretty good browning and now I put the broth in and I'm gonna stick some Worcestershire sauce in it and then I gotta cut the potatoes which I forgot to do I did my cutting before but I forgot the potatoes I think that's about it then I think it's time to cook minutes now it's on oh gotta make sure the steam valve is sealed I always end up forgetting that and doing it last and then this is the mess that I make when I bake I am just not a clean cooker I'm not one of those people that like cleans up as they go sometimes I am sometimes I'm really good other times I just kind of explode all over the kitchen so for the most part this is a one pot dish except for whatever dish you um, flour your meat in. But if you don't want to get raw meat, what I usually use is canned roast beef. There's, it comes with gravy and you just stick like the roast beef and the gravy in the pot. I'll probably do two of these just because they're kind of small, but it's yummy. And I was going to do that, but then when I was at the store I saw that they had some real stew, roast, or some stew um, beef chunks. So I decided to try it out. So we'll see which one I like better. So it's cooking. Now I just gotta clean up this kitchen and wait for it to be done. Let's see if this Instant Pot is the win. Okay, that's it. I'm gonna release this pressure and we will see what we got. The recipe that I used said to let it release naturally, but ain't nobody got time for that, so. It smells really good, so that's a good start. The question is in the potatoes. Okay, there's a little piece of beef, a little piece of potato. <laughs> Looks good. Potatoes are perfect! That is a perfectly cooked potato. <laughs> I'm so happy. 
Mmm, and a tender, mmm, tender beef. Guys, this is so good. So excited. Mmm, yummy. Let's try the carrots. Mmm, yummy carrots. Okay, this soup was definitely a win here in the Bruff Kitchen today. Zach, what'd you think? It was good. Really yummy. Yeah. The beef was really yummy. Yeah. I liked it a lot. Oh, yikes. Carter, what'd you think? I promise this is a good recipe, but I do not promise that it's kid friendly. Piper, what do you think about the soup? Mm, not good. You've been sipping it, haven't you? Yeah, and I don't love it either. Yeah, but you've been you've been sipping the the broth. Yummy. <laughs> Yummy. And Porter does like the meat, right? You like the beef? <laughs> and Bo likes yeah. some of it. Okay, so some things that I learned from this recipe is that I should have had the saute going once I put the broth in because that would have heated the broth up and it wouldn't have taken forever for it to get up to pressure because I just had the broth sitting in there forever. I could have like been heating everything up. Anyway, it took forever to get to pressure, which was annoying. So it really took probably like 50 minutes to get this cooked in here. But I will say, like the whole reason I would put it in the Instant Pot is to make it quicker, that little bit quicker than it is on the stove. But also it did the potatoes perfect. That 35 minutes in the Instant Pot did like everything, just like the perfect consistency, like the perfect amount of like soft, right? Like I am so bad at guessing when potatoes are done or overcooking them or undercooking them. It's just really annoying, so. This was awesome that I could just put these in here, set it and let it go and it was awesome. I just let the pressure go when it was all done, even though in the recipe she says let it naturally release. But I'm glad that I didn't because everything was perfect the way it was. I wouldn't want it to be cooking really any longer. Overall, it was really good. I will definitely use the Instant Pot for beef stew again in the future. So that's it, everybody. Hope you enjoyed this episode of Instant Pot amazingness. I will make sure to link everything below, including just like my, my mom's recipe. Also, I wanted to just say this because it's happened recently. We just got 25,000 subscribers. We're Woo! really excited. So thank you to all of our subscribers. We love you and we love you for coming back and watching our channel. If you are new to this channel because you just found me by searching Instant Pot Recipes, go ahead and become a part of our fun little family here on YouTube. Go and subscribe, subscribe, do it, do it, do it. Do it. This is really the end, we'll see you later, bye!